I got some bad news for you, buddy. I got some really bad news for you. You cannot make a sequel or a prequel or anything to Goodbye Volcano High because if Goodbye Volcano High works as a story, there's no real reason for a, real need for a prequel because any prequel you make. It's like, who cares? It's not Anakin Skywalker. No one gives a shit about how Darth Vader came to be, because there's no Darth Vader in your story. There's no one who matters. I guess you could do something with Trish and Rosa at, like, the, the TNSI, but that's about as far as you can go before it's like, you could have made this an original IP. You can't make a sequel, because the entire point of Goodbye Volcano is that you don't know what happens afterwards, so um, a lot of foot shootings will be going on in the background. <sighs> Theorize about how Sage would have been written if he had, was more included in the suit game. Like I said before, I don't know what why what you would do with Sage in the story because like every everyone does what they need to. Like the bigger problem is if we say that we're going to include Sage and Sage was known about much at the time, they were probably also dealing with more sophisticated versions of the characters. And Snoot Game would be operating off of more known about these characters. Like you can't just say what would they do if they suddenly knew about everything else, but like everything else affects everything else. Like you, what would you do with Sage? I think the big problem is, is that Stella already is such a massive departure, Sage would probably just be something else too. Like, you wouldn't just copy, click, paste Sage over. You can't. They didn't. Like, the only reason that Fang and Trish and Reed are kind of the same is because they look like how they are. Whereas Stella is just a big old goober. Although, admittedly, I do cling somewhat to the theory that they did a lot of stuff because a Snoop game did it. You know, which is fair enough. It's also kind of goofy. And it's also the worst way to make anything ever, is to go, I'm not doing this because someone else made me made me feel bad about it. Like, come on, man. That's like that's like changing... Okay. Okay, we need to talk about this. There's a, in, in comics, there's this thing, right? In comics, I, th I forgot what it was, but it's like Hawkman would have been Captain Adam or so something like that. Anyway, th they, they were like... They, they had a massive reveal, and everyone figured it out because it was a well-written story, and in a good, well-written story, you could figure out the plot twist before the plot twist happens if you're a smart little detective, and there's lots of people reading comics, so someone would figure it out eventually. And when someone figured it out, and everyone's like, oh, that's so smart. What they did is they changed the ending, and it fucking sucks because you don't... If... If Sherlock Holmes was written, like, a very good Sherlock Holmes story, take that in your head, and it's like, I figured it out, I figured out who did the Hounds of Baskerville, and then the guy who wrote it is like, no, actually it was the butler, and it's like, why? Well, because it's a good twist. The, the twist is never the point. The twist is never the point. I, I don't think it matters how they react to the Snoot game. Like, if you tie Snoot game and the two games together like that, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Sage wanted to open his own bakery. I think you could do a lot with Sage if you wanted to, actually. You could do a lot with Sage if you wanted to. But the problem is that what Sage has is I'm trans and I like baking. And I guess I like bonking in, in, in tabletop games. What would you do with that? What would that character be? Because, like, wanting to open a business? Like, that's what Trish wants, right? But Trish really only did it because the band fell apart. So, hmm. Oh, well. All right. All right. Remake what? Sca Scary Dave? Uh, you mean Snoop Game or Goodbye Volcano High? Oh, yeah, you mean Context. If they're going to remake S Goodbye Volcano High to be a good game, uh, thumbs up for me. I would love it. I would appreciate them making a good game instead of something that's kind of eh, eh. I'm not excited. All right. I, I just remember I'm recording already, so I should probably get going at some point. But I got three things to point out. One, this is a game about music. Why does the title screen not have a good song? This entire game is about a person who makes music, and the title screen has ocean ambient sounds. Here's some points that a friend of mine brought up that I think are worth pointing out. Why is Fang... Okay, so we're... I, I do think that Sage not... I mean, Sage isn't flanderized, because he's a trans guy, and he's very feminine, so that's kind of a twist on the whole concept. He's into baking, which is also kind of feminine. It's kind of a fun twist. But... Listen, if I'm ever writing a trans man, I'm writing one who's like a big athlete and, and just pile drives everyone, you know, and it wouldn't get brought up until it's like, oh, by the way, everyone feels very bad about it. And the main character goes, why is everyone so upset about getting pile drived by the biggest man in school? And it's like, oh, because, you know, they got a, they got a, they got the wrong parts between the legs and a lot of people are taking it personally. And the character's like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? And then he gets pile driven and he dies instantly because he's not as tough as the people who normally get thrown around. Yeah, I do know it used to have no sound at all. Because I get that sometimes. Gosh, what would you do with... But... So, yeah, like, why is Fang perfectly okay? It's week one. Reed is like, hey, want to join up with this thing that might interfere with your ability to practice? And they're like, sure. Let's... Let me waste time on your thing. Shouldn't Fang be like, hey, Reed, can we, like, um... 
Can we do the LNL thing like next week after we've done the audition, which is a bit more important for me right now? I don't know. It feels really weird for Fang to just kind of roll over and take it. It's a fair point to make. More importantly, when Fang finds out that they're having LNL on Saturday, like before the the big event, why doesn't Fang say, "Hey, uh, you should cancel that because this is more important, and like you can have your LNL any day of the week." That's not like this is an emergency right now moment. You could have used that. You could use that that idea of Fang going, "Listen, we're doing this right now. This is important," and you. Ex it, it's such a good way to establish that Fang is a little is very upset about this, and you can make that friction. Because then Trish can be like, "No, we are not canceling. We are not canceling LNL for you, Fang. Listen, I'm perfectly fine having to make some space in my day to practice with you on the normal, but I'm not canceling my LNL game for you, Fang." And and then the friction builds up, and you get that early moment, like fuck the asteroid. Now you can set up the whole Trish thing immediately. It's even better if like the asteroid thing is is already there, because now you can go with Trish. Like, hey, I only have so many Saturdays left in my life. Before the asteroid hits, man, like, I'm not sacrificing one of them for, like, a band practice thing that might not even work out that I'm pretty pessimistic about. You know, just let me work with that. Like, eh. As a cook, I dislike Sage. Keep on talking about it. Like me. I mean... Yeah. Hey, the world is ending, and we all have living a time left. Oh, you want to... <laughs> Yeah, it's really goofy. It's so goofy. It's a little bit weird. Like, it makes Fang look distracted. It's something you don't notice when you're playing it. Like, I didn't notice it in the multiple times I've looked at it, but that's mostly because I kind of went with the... I don't know. But it's one of those things that a competent writer, aka not me, would have caught. Anyway, I'm going to put this window in a position where I can sort of see it. Uh, there you go. There you go. Now I can watch the stream and make everything happen. Now the magic can happen. Let's actually play this gosh darn video game. It's a video game, did you know? It's not just a book. <laughs> which is a, which is the David Cage cop-out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Their eyes are little black dots. Oh, that's even worse. Remember, there's a makeup for picture day. You can make up for picture day. You can make up for picture day. Isn't that kind of weird? That, no, it makes, oh, we got some screen tearing going on. That's great. Oh, we got some really bad screen tearing going on. That's pretty good. I don't know if I can live with that. Um, okay, this is all fixed. Oh, that is some bad tearing going on. But V-Sync is on, and I know why it's not. It's because this likes to pretend that it's very fancy. Keep resolution. Did it save or not? Because I... Here's a here's a fun little trick for you, by the way. Uh, I have... I don't know if that actually selected or not, but that's taken care of. We got all this, we got all this... We got all this, we got all this, we got all this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Knew this would turn back off again, because it just loves turning that back off again. G game is like, no, 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 no. I have my settings. You have yours. We're going to play this my way. Apply changes. Resume. Does this help at all? Nope, the screen tear is still there. I don't know why. Ooh, that's gnarly. Is it because of the... No, it's not the stream image in the background, because normally that aligns, and that's, that's pretty, like, you know, understandable that that would happen. Ugh. I watched some funky videos today, man. Epsom salt. No, this seems to be happening everywhere. There's just something going on in the computer brain that's going a little fart noising. But you know what, computer brain? I think it's fine if you make a couple of fart noises. We'll, we'll live. We can live with this. It's just funny. Yeah, you seem to be all right there, buddy. How are you always so chill? A master never reveals. Oh, whoops. I, I, I turned autoplay off, and I was going to keep it on because I feel that it helps the pacing a bit. This is secrets. Mm. Master. Okay. It's all a matter of perspective. Is that code for don't give a shit about anything? It's code for give just the right amount of shits. I would like to point out that, in case you haven't noticed, at every single scene, they like to do this little camera wobble. It's subtle, but it's there. I don't know why. Carf, bro. Yeah, man. If you're stoned off your mind that you're physically incapable of understanding the concept of concepts, uh, things go a bit easier. Where Russia? Russia is uh, not on this planet or somewhere, but I couldn't tell you because I don't know what the Pangea looks like. Where is the Ruski? Come where are oh, you? Worms! What are you doing out here? Whoa. 
Where were you? Inside, waiting to nail this audition. I got here early to help Rosa close up so she can watch us play. And check it out, free lattes. Seriously? Oh, are we, are we gonna are we gonna get mad? Also, if you're gonna have a timer option like this, maybe not let people pause because that just creates weird, contradicting things. Slavic dinosaurs. But with, with, no, because the humans are on Eurasia. Like someone explained this to me. Apparently, like the dinosaurs are on America, and and the humans are on Eurasia. So it would be exclusively Slavic humans, which is sad for Como. Sorry, Como. Yeah, you, you got the short end of the stick there, buddy. Unless you really want to move to America. Are we gonna be mad at her? Or are we gonna be like coffee? No, I wanna be. I'm gonna be mad. Seriously? We were waiting for you. I texted you, like a million times. I know. I just assumed we'd meet here. I find it hilarious that like, this is a, a comedic breakdown of communication. Like, I know it's in the back, right? Like, this is all taking place in the back, but. Shouldn't someone at some point say something? Shouldn't Rosa, like, come to the front of the store or something? Like, the implication is that they've been standing here for at least 10 minutes, because that's, like, a reasonable amount of time to be waiting before you get a little angry about it, maybe 15 minutes. You think... You think during all that, like, something would have come up? I don't know. Just... <sighs> I don't know, man. You guys should organize a bit better. Like, always agree where you're going to meet. You think That was the plan, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just do this. Was it? Oh god, the screen tearing is getting worse. I don't know what's going on, to be honest. I think I need to reboot for this to fix. This is weird. More like terrifying. Yeah, this is getting really bad. Um, I'm probably gonna have to restart in like a few minutes. We're gonna, so I want you to hold on for that one. But we're gonna finish this recording because I don't want the the, the band cam stuff to get too funky up. We're probably gonna cut it off when the sound section starts. Ah, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is just wow. Wait, is this because I didn't... Oh, man, Fang looks, like, fucked up. With a little... I love how, like, one little dash under the eyes does so much work. So much work. But I got V-Sync on. You should be V-Syncing. Now you've set the 120. Hello, competitors. By the way, remember LJ, the character that we didn't hear or see until any given moment until we were finally at the center of the conflict? Man, it would have been nice if we saw LJ at any given moment before so we could have a little bit of expectation build up or something instead of... It feels like the reason they did this is they wanted to have LJ give this shitty, crappy speech and that be like the introduction to the character. But you can have LJ give a shitty speech before... I don't know. It just feels like a really weird introductionary speech for a character that we have already talked to over the phone, have some established... Tonight, you are auditioning for... Why a battle, LJ? It seems kind of harsh. By the way, remember remember when I said that like the, the echoes get cut off? The echoes get cut off really bad for this one. Don't worry, they, it gets worse. I'll just play our music and support each other. Ha! The best thing I can do to support musicians that I believe in is to challenge them, toughen them up, and push them to make their best music. Okay, considering that she's being apologetic about this, in a sense, did they... Did they make it so that the first time you see and hear LJ to be this speech so that she can start off harsh and then immediately apologize instead of being... I don't know. What is this? The caveman on dev said in a QA stream, so yeah, the conquistadors were humans and married native raptor, raptor girls, which is a really, really strange way to go about that kind of world building. The cuts are godly, I told you. I told you. And that's what I'm here to do for you. Make sure you're ready. Agents, tours, the whole shebang. Like the spines, ever heard of them? I love them. Or how about Tina and the Tyrannosaurs? Know their multiple number one singles? They rule. Goddesses. Or how about Swamp Babies, the band everyone thinks will win this year? But then young upstarts Worm Drama are here to throw them off and maybe this is their year. Ah, that's us! Woo! My point is that you are all here because you show promise, and I need to see which of you can actually fulfill that promise and earn a spot at Caldera Fest, where you will perform for thousands of members of the paying public. I... No, I think the VSync is my problem, by the way, but the audio cuts are definitely something. You can just taper off the audio, man. Just taper it off. 
Like, just make it go quiet and then go to the... Also, just want to point this out. LJ is, 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 like, in the music industry. Shouldn't LJ be a little bit more hyped than standing there as stiff as a rake? Like, have some stage presence, my lady. Have some stage presence. Make me feel it. Make my bones quiver. Instead of you doing this very weak little... Come on, LJ. You've scared enough teens. You should know how to make, make them quick. Not the video game. Now, let's get to it. After all, I hear a huge rock is coming from outer space to kill us all anyway. So, it certainly sounds like showtime to me. First band! First band is not... Worm drama or whatever. Also, there's a law firm right next to this place, which is so hilarious that's to me. that's not the same song you played last month? Oh, no. Uh, uh, so, we changed the hook. Um, so, before, it was like... Hey, um... Did you know that we never see the Swamp Babies perform? You know, the the rival band? Which would be the perfect, like, before before Worm Drama goes up, Swamp Baby shows up, and Swamp Babies is like, we're playing very good, we're very good at music, and you're losers at music. You know, to hype us up and make us go, we hate Swamp Babies. And then make us go, we're gonna win this one to kick Swamp Baby butt. You know, so that the player has the same feelings for Swamp Babies that everyone else has, because they're being jerks on stage. Because Swamp Babies haven't done anything to us yet, it's just been everyone else saying that they've done something. You could just have Swamp Babies be a jackass on stage so that the player goes, I want to fuck them up. Like, I don't know. It's, it's... Like, why not? It's, it's perfect. It's classic. It's a trope for a reason because it works and it establishes the, 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 the dramatic beats of the story. Also, your player, Ludo Narrative Harmony, needs to kind of feel what the characters are feeling. You know, you want that harmony. That's not Ludo Narrative, technically, because Ludo Narrative implies that it's game mechanics. This is just narrative harmony. You want your story to make sense. You want your want the reader to feel what the characters are feeling. Like, we haven't even had a moment... Like, all it's been is, like, Swamp Babies is better than us, and they keep winning. Why isn't it something simpler? Like, Swamp Babies took this opportunity from us. Uh, we tried to get a position or something, and they and they, they were there before us. Like, anything to make it sound like Swamp Babies is doing anything wrong other than being a good band. Like, I'm not going to hate on some dudes for being better at, me, at, at something than I am. That's not a good reason to hate someone. People aren't going to go, oh, they're going to think... Shut the fuck up, Worm Drama, and actually practice. How about that? How about instead of whining that someone else is better than you, you put in the effort yourself, buddies. Like, you don't get pity if you're just a whiny baby. I should know. Hey. And now, now it's like, hey. You see how it went up there? It went up at the end. Also, if Swamp Babies is like the last band to perform before Worm Drama goes up, you can also establish that this fucking talent scout has some talents to work with instead of having this garbage band that doesn't know anything. Like, this is not a good one to go after. Because LJ is gr- I don't know. Eh. I was I'm starting to think that the story is so full of plot holes you can't help bring up the- This is not a plot hole. It is not a plot hole. Listen, it is not a plot hole that the reader slash player is not hating worm babies on the same level. We're told that they're the antagonist, that's kind of it, but we don't see them kick a puppy. You need to kick the puppy moment for a villain to feel like a villain, to feel like someone that you want to root against and root for the heroes instead. That's not a plot hole, that's just bad writing. If I don't like your protagonists and think that the bad guys are the bad guys, that's not a plot hole, just bad writing. They're different? Please keep it in mind. This will be on the test. I'm really asking. If I can't tell, that's all you need to know. Also, why is there a little clock, like, behind LJ? Like a little little circle with a little stopwatch timer on it? I don't know. Next! Oh, my... Also, please note that that band didn't get a name. We don't know who they are. They're just there for fodder, I guess. To make LJ look bad. Like, if you want LJ to look strict, like, have Swamp Baby show up, who, again... Everyone is like, Swamp Babies is going to win. Swamp Babies goes up on stage. LJ is like, hmm, you know, you've won before, but I'm getting the feeling you fuckers are, are kind of getting on your laurels there, buddies. How about you? Hey, hey, you think you're hot shit? You're not hot shit. If you're going to just coast on past success... She actually brings that up in the thing I was writing. Like, she brings it up, listen, you can't coast on past successes, you motherfuckers. Put in your effort. Like, if Swamp Babies, like, this hyped up band, and you pat LJ tear into them, then it's like, oh no, can Worm Drama win? Like, mm, it's, it's, it's obvious. It's so obvious that it's good. And then it works for building up the tension, creating the emotional conflict, and making you do something, feel something. Come on. God. Am I in hell? Maybe. Come on, let's go. I don't. I. I have no idea what the context for that any of that is. Like, should I be hyped? Was that a hype moment? Because LJ was sitting there smiling, and I'm like, oh, so LJ believes in the band? But then why should I worry, right? 
Look at those. Like again, the background artists know what they're doing. Um, hi. We are Worm Drama. And Ah, the audio cuts. This is us. The Backstreet Dinos. Okay, like oh whoa, like I said. Um yeah, we're gonna Did it just start playing the Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do a quick cut. I need to restart my computer, see if that helps with the V Sync stuff. Because it's been on all day, you know, it's a little it's got a little bit of a of a clog in the background. I've just noticed that sometimes it just likes to be a bit slow, unless you give it a fresh boot. So we're gonna be back in a, a couple of minutes, don't worry about it.